Praise God. The song team just sing, I wish somebody swallowed would catch a fire. Yeah. Can we keep fire in our bosom, brethren? No, we have to sing and shout, shake it out. Can we cannot keep it in our bosom, praise be to God. I sing a, a verse of that same song again, that chorus. I wish somebody swallowed would catch a fire. Catch a fire. Catch a fire. I wish somebody swallowed would catch a fire. Bond with the Holy Ghost. Bond going to sing that song lively today. Praise be to God. We have an anchor. Sorry, sorry. Will your anchor holds in the storms of life when The mother, the superintendent, I forget your name. Oh, she's busy on the outside. I'll ask my dear brother to do the prayer for us. Praise be to God, brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, most unrighteous God. Lord, as we come before you this morning, O oh Lord, to lift up our hearts to you and to give you the praise. Lord, we have faults and we are not worthy of you, God, but through your Son, Jesus Christ. We are here standing in the midst to tell you thanks for everything. And Lord, today as we come before you this afternoon to go through our service, Lord, let everything that we say and do today is according to you and your will. Let your will be done today, O oh Lord. Send your spirit among us oh, yes. to fill us with your grace. Lord, we need thee now more than ever. Hallelujah. Without you, Lord, we are nothing. But with Christ in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. Yeah. Because, Lord, you send your son here for us, for us, for this reason, to worship you Hallelujah. and to give you everything. everything. And, Lord, as we come before you this afternoon, let everything we said and do is according to your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. God bless you, my brother. Thank you so much for praying. Praise be to God. Can we turn our Bibles to Revelation 7, reading from 1 to 18? Praise be to God. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the herd, holding the four winds of the herd, that the wind should not blow on the herd, nor the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to her, the earth and the sea. Saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, since we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were still an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah, we were sealed twelve thousand, and the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousands of the tribe of Dark, we were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Nephtali were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Simon were, were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Ishak were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed twelve thousand. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nation and kindred and people and tongue, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, 
and psalms in their hands. Cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation for our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and of four beasts of the field and fell, sorry, and fell before the throne and their faces and worshiped God. Say, Amen. Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And one, and one of the elder answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arranged in white robes, and whence came the day? And I said unto them, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, They are the day which came out of great tribulation, and I will wash their robes. And made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in this temple, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall be no more, just first and the shall shall light on them by the For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them into living from them of God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Bless the Lord. Praise be to God. Amen. We are giving God thanks this morning. I'm going to ask Sister Margaret to sing a song for the preacher before the preacher comes. And no other than Minister Ron, praise be to God, a man of God, a man who loves God, a man who loves the word, praise be to God. Brethren, when you don't see him, pray for him. Praise be to God. He's out there on the battlefield for the Lord. Praise God. Sister Margaret. Praise the Lord. Lord. Honor to be in his house today to worship and magnify his name. I I have a song. <laughs> I can't find it nowhere now. Um, I had a song and I can't find it anywhere, but I'm just going to go and uh, go to my chorus section of worship song. <laughs> um, I don't know the, how to start this song, but I, it didn't rest on my mind. Um, sometimes it takes a mountain. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yes. Like that? Yep, yep, right. yep. I don't, I don't know how to start, so I'm going to start from the, um, the chorus, and it will throw me in. <laughs> you want help? Yes. Who can help me? Who want to help me? Who knows it? Come on up, sister. Amen. Amen.
Lord, please hear my cry. I, I need you, Lord. I never had before. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes the troubled sea. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold.
Sometimes the troubled sea. Sometimes we taste the desert to dress you away. But you know me so much stronger than what ever troubles me. Sometimes it takes a mountain to get a hold of me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes the trouble sees. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. But you know me so much stronger. Sometimes it takes a mountain to trust you and believe. Hallelujah. You know something? If there's anyone who's been trying to reach God at a level, I think this is your son today. If there's anyone in here that's been trying to launch out in the deep, I think this is your song today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Something in my spirit tell me somebody is trying to launch out in the deep. Somebody trying to feel God. Somebody want an experience. Something in my spirit tell me there's somebody that want to feel that connection. That want to get that experience. That want to feel God in a way that they never feel it before. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to your name. I'm going to ask everyone here to stand. Glory to God. Yay. Hallelujah. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes the trouble sees. Hallelujah. Sometimes it takes a lesser to get a hold of me. Hallelujah. But you know me so much stronger. Hallelujah, Jesus. Than whatever. Hallelujah. Troubles me. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes it takes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you stand? Sometimes the trouble sees. Yeah. Sometimes it takes.
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. The trouble seed. Sometimes. Take a step with me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord is so much stronger. That one is Shabbos to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes it takes. Yes, sometimes it takes a mountain. Oh, sometimes the trouble seems. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Hallelujah. Reach out and touch him. Reach out and touch him. Reach out. Hallelujah! And what is trouble Sometimes it takes a while Yes, Lord. To trust Anything in the past, let it go. Anything in the past, let it go. Hallelujah! Anything in it? Let it go. Sometimes it takes a man. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes the trouble seems. Sometimes it takes. Get a hold. You know, sometimes we're in church for a long time. And sometimes, for whatever reason, we become stagnant. Yes. There might have been a time, hallelujah, when we have a connection. But, but somewhere along the line, yep. mighty God of Daniel. Amen. Somewhere along the line. Mighty, 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 mighty. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. But the Lord is saying sometimes it's a mountain. Sometimes the trouble seems. Sometimes it takes that desert experience to get a hold. Hallelujah, Jesus. But his love is so much stronger than whatever troubles you. Sometimes it takes the mountain to trust you and believe. To trust God ever forgotten you. He ever forgotten you. I'm going to eat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy day! He did not forget you. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Oh, and why not at all I'd call? Oh, 
Jesus, there's some trouble that we deal with in this season. There's some problems that we run into into this season. And if you don't mind, you buckle under these problems. But God is awesome and God is good. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me see. All right, this one looks like piano something. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, I was coming up here one time and sometimes when I'm going out I like to walk with something in my thought just in case and that was some while back when I was coming up here but you know we didn't go come this direction but what came to me at that time is the topic Lord I want to be in that number glory to God Lord I want to be in that number and when I when when I when I when I when I, when I get here, I'm a fact, when I heard that there are a few in this location that decide that they want to be in the number, I said, God, you're just awesome, you know? yeah. You're awesome because maybe at the time when I, when I came, we, we, you know, just in case I was asked to do something because as a soldier, you always have to have your arm and you with you when you're going out because you never know when you ask to shoot. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you never know. We're not gonna be so at all time you must have something you know in, in, in your holster just in case you have to shoot. Hallelujah. So so I said to myself, maybe this message is for today. Glory to God. Why so? Because there are I, I, I understand, I don't know who and who it is yet, but I get to understand that there are a few, and especially that I get to understand that there are young ones. And that is even more important because the Bible said, young man, I call upon you because you're strong. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I am here to tell somebody, even if you're a hundred and you come to Christ, he will accept you. Because he said in his word that the man that came come in the morning or the man that come in the evening get the same yes. pay. So even if you come when you're 99, yes. it, does, it, it doesn't change your pay as long as you come. Yes. But there's something about coming when you're young. Yes. 
Glory to God. Because the Lord is looking for those who can go there and run through troops and leap over walls. And glory to God, when you are at a certain age, it is not possible for you to leap over wall and run through troops anymore. Glory to God. So he chose, he loved it when those come at a tender age. Amen. So mighty God, I, 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 I must say this. There was a calling on my life since I was a child. But I did not understand it. And I did not come until I am 40. Mighty, until I turned 40. But let me tell you something. Every time that I see a young one come to Christ. Every time I, I, I admire that. And I respect that. And I wish that were me. I, it was me. I cannot go back and do that. But thank God I still come. When I think I still can. You know somewhat. Run over. Jump over a wall. And, and, okay thank you. <laughs> I think I still can leap over a few wall. And run through some truths. Glory to God. So I thank God that when I come, I still come at a good age. Amen. Hallelujah. But I am here to encourage those that chose to take the step at a young age. It is the greatest thing that you can do. Glory to God. Because you come with that strength and that vigor. And if you put your heart and your mind at the right place, then God can use that. Glory to God. And you have many years. You can put a lot of work on your belt. So when it is all over and done, you can say like Paul and them, I have fought a good fight. Glory to God. I have finished my course. I have kept the field. Glory to God. And there no lay up for you. A crown of righteousness. No lay up for all of us. A crown of righteousness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to see what I can do with this scripture today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if I should start from... Revelation 7, 2 to verse, I mean, yeah, 2 to 4. Hallelujah. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angel whom was given, who it was given to hurt the earth, and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God, of our God, in their forehead. Glory to God. Amen. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed 144,000. Hallelujah. Of all the tribe of the children of Israel. Glory to God. So now, this scripture right here is speaking about in the end time. When it is wrapping up, when, when, when it is coming to a close. Glory to God. And God sent out his angel to do his work. And he said, don't, the, the destruction that is to come upon the earth, don't do it yet until I seal those that are mine. Glory to God. Until those that are called by my name are sealed in their forehead. So today I want to say to those that are chosen to take the step, you are put in your place to be a part of those that are sealed in their forehead in the name of Jesus. You're putting yourself at the place for God to say, no, 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 don't do it yet until that one still needs to seal. That one needs still need to seal. Glory to God. So when you take that step to God, you're putting yourself in the number. Glory to God. There's many in today's days, especially young ones. Mighty God. Because sometimes you see, glory to God, in church, you see person will come through the door, and as I said, there's nothing wrong with you coming out when you're hunching. But sometimes you see a person come in at a certain age to come to be a part of the flock. And we welcome them. Nonetheless, when these young ones come to God, glory to God, it is so much more vital to the, to, 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 the, to the work of God because now you can go there and do that which God assigned his people to do. To go there and minister on the highways and byways and not only that, to reach those who are in your age group because sometimes, glory to God, the people that are older cannot reach the younger people. Amen. Glory to God. Because they look at you and say, you don't understand what I'm going through. You don't know. You, 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 I mean, they look at you like you're some form of dinosaur. Like you're from another era. And you don't understand because they don't believe that you were young at some point in time. Glory to God. So sometimes God will use the younger ones, my God. So now they can go out and speak to even their younger friend. So he can bring them into the fold. Amen. God is very strategic. Amen. It is doing. Yes. He is very strategic. 
in his doing. I see sometimes God will go into the dance hall and he will pick out one out of the dance hall and he will use them to go reach those who are in the dance hall. There's a young lady now by the name of Lady Sir. Oh great God of heaven, we know who she was when she was in the dance hall. But God, let me tell you something, not everybody that you see in the world doing certain type of thing is totally away from God. God up them there for a time and when he's ready, he will call them in and say, all right, this is the purpose that I have called you for now. Go out and minister to those that you used to be in the dance hall with. Go out and minister to those that you used to run around about with. And even to the young ones, as I say, he will say, go and minister to those that are in your school. Some of them that don't come from a background that know God. Some of them that come from a family that are hatist. Some of them that come from all different types of background. Go out there and minister to them. Glory to God. And you are able to reach those because the older folks sometimes not able to do it. Glory to God. So Lord, I want to be that number. So today as you take that step, you're saying that Lord, I want to be in that number. Mighty Redeemer. Now that, that scripture speak of the 144,000. And sometimes a person that is only 144,000 is going to be in the kingdom of God. But no, it is not. So when I go further down in the scripture, they will understand that it's not just 144,000 because a lot of people are confused by that first 140,000, which is just the first fruit of the children of Israel. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to drop down to verse 9. And it says, after this, hallelujah, after this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, hallelujah, of all nations, tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robe, with palm and palm in their hand, mighty Redeemer Jesus, and cried aloud, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and the Lamb, and unto the Lamb. Glory to God. So in order for you to be in this number, you have to first take that step. Amen. Glory to God. In order for you to be in this number, mighty Redeemer, there's a lot of people in this season, glory to God, that are fooling themselves and telling themselves that they are Christian. I, I, I don't understand. You, you, you have homosexuals going around and calling themselves Christian. But I don't see nothing in the Bible. That, 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 but, 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 oh, great God of heaven. The Bible tells us that there will come a time that they will not endure sound doctrine. But will heap up to themselves ministers. Great God of heaven have been itching ears saying, tell us what we want to hear. Glory to God. So there's no shortage of ministers that is out there in this season that is telling you that no matter what condition you are in you can still be a part of the kingdom of God when you come. Some are telling you that you can be a part of this religion and that religion but all going to the same place but I am here to tell somebody today unless you are oh great God of heaven are baptized in the name of Jesus washed by the blood you cannot be in this number glory to God. You cannot be in this number because this number is a called out number. This number is a peculiar number. This number is a number that decides that I am going to give up on the things that my friends are doing. I am going to take a different step. My friends are going to party, but I'm not going there. My friends are doing this, but I'm not doing that. My friends are sleeping around at a young age, but I am not going to do that. Glory to God. Because I want to be a part of this number. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I want to be in this number. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. It is one thing when you can go around and trick other people. But when you fool yourself, it's a, it's, it's a serious thing. When you fool yourself, mighty God of Daniel, and I don't know what it is about human in this season, that they will know the truth. But if somebody come to them and give them another version of the truth, though they know it, they will run with it because there's a part of them that really don't want the truth. Glory to God. Because the Bible said there come a time that they will not endure sound doctrine. Glory to God. So once it is sown, they don't want it. So once there's somebody that are there with, 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 with another form of gospel, but they're saying Christ, they will accept it. But let me tell you something. There's something I know that goes on in this world. And there's a thing where you go to a store and you see 
a product that was selling for a certain price. And all of a sudden, they mark it down and tell us that they're giving you a half-half deal. Glory to God. And I am here to tell you that today in church, there's a lot of ministers, my God, in well, so-called minister in the seed. Because if you are a minister, then you will do thus said the Lord. If you are a minister, you will preach the word of God. If you are a minister, you won't worry about what people are going to say when you preach the word of God. If you are a minister, you won't be concerned. Glory to God. You will preach it in spite of. Glory to God. Because I am here to tell somebody preaching this gospel is not a popular thing. I, at least not in the season. Glory to God. Preaching this gospel, you have to be willing to be ridiculed. Preaching this about after even taking on the name of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So sometimes you have people when I give you a half half deal. Yeah. Glory to God. But I am here to tell you, a lot of times you get a half half deal. And when you go home, when you realize how fraud you get. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody come and sell you something and tell you it's authentic. Yeah. And tell them I give you a half half. Glory to God. But when you reach home, you realize you are washed over your end of it. Glory to God. The good part with the wash over instead of what I am talking about. No. You can show it away and say, well, you call it a loss. But when you take a half-half deal, when it comes to the things of God, when you take a half-half deal in regard to your salvation, then it's going to be detrimental because on that day when you stand before the judgment seat of God and realize that you know the truth, but somehow somebody come and tell us you don't have to do it this way. Somebody come and say, we can't keep you it another way. Somebody say you can see all you want, but you will still make it in. Somebody say okay, a man can marry the man, and you still can make it in. Somebody say a woman can marry that woman, but you still can make it in. But I am here to tell somebody today that don't work. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 That is what you call a half half deal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. And them have a to to dumb, dumb to King so they use a cell you call Ensis. Hallelujah. That a fake chain. Yeah. And I get caught in one one time. Hallelujah. But I am here to tell somebody, cast it, whatever it want to cast. Seek after the true gospel of God. Amen. Because I said to somebody, I used to be one of those that was in the reggae industry, singing all over the place. Glory to God. I was one of them that was rubbing shoulder with some of the biggest in the business. Glory to God. And I have to tell you that I love it very well. Because mighty God is, there, there, there's something good about being on stage and hear uh, people shouting out your name. It do something for you. But one day God called me and tell me, say, if you continue on this path, you're going to end up in a place that you don't want to end up. Glory to God. So he tell me that I have to make a turn around and not only that, he moved everything that was in my, that I was using to, to finance this direction that I was going. And he pulled me back from that. But I'm here to tell somebody today, I am thankful that God pulled me back from that direction. Glory. Hallelujah. I am here to tell somebody today. There's a song that said I am so glad. That I am a part of the family of God. Washed in his fountain. Cleansed by his blood. Joined here with Jesus. As we journey along. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The Bible says many are the affliction of the righteous. Say so I'm here to tell somebody. Real ministers. Don't come and tell you. Say come to God and you will get house. Real minister don't tell us you come to God and you get care. Real minister don't tell us that you come to God and you get a good job. Real minister don't tell you that. Real minister tell us to take up your cross and follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is why a lot of people turn back into the charismatic area of the gospel. Glory to God. Because these ministers, they promise them all kinds of things that they know they don't go like that. Hallelujah. And then tell us, a so see that you get this. And so see that you get that. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. But let me tell you something. The only seed that you need to sow is the seed of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Because that's the only thing that is going to be a fruit. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So I am here to tell somebody today. There is a number. And there is another number. Mighty God of Daniel. So no matter what side you go, you're going to be in a number. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't matter what side you take, you're going to be in a number. Amen. But you have to choose which one of the number you, you, you want to be in. And as the song said, when the saints go marching in, hallelujah, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number. Glory to God. When the saints of God go marching in, glory to God. So let me tell you something. 
The Bible said, Proud is the way that leads to destruction. Yes. And, and many find it. And it said, Narrow is the way that leads to God. Oh, great God of heaven, and only few find it. So I am saying this the, 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 the path that leads the other direction, there's more people that are fine. That part, glory to God. But the part that leads to God is only a few that is going to find that. And because this part is so narrow, some won't make it through that part. Because glory to God, sometimes when you're going through a narrow part, there's some squeezing that have to take place. When you're going through a narrow part, there's some shuffling that have to take place. But if you are to make it in that narrow part, you must have to do so. Glory to God. But there's a part that is easy. Let me tell you something. You don't have to do nothing to get into hell, you know. True. You don't have to do nothing. True. All you have to do is go on your merry ways and do your merry things that you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to change nothing for going to hell. True. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. But to be into the kingdom of God. Some there's something that has to be changed. Yes. And let me tell you something. There are some of us that find it hard to make those changes. Yeah. Mighty God is one of the most a heart-wrenching thing to me when I see a person that is way up in age. My God and my Father, and I always say this, if you have passed your 40s, passed your 30s, passed your 50s, and, and, and God keep you still alive, and, and, and you have not uh, take that step unto God, what is it that you are waiting for? Mighty God, it always bothers me when I see a person that passed certain age. You do all the partying. You do, you do all of the womanizing or the manizing, if I should say so. Glory to God. I know you reach a time now when you know the greater part of your life is already gone. But you're still out there dilettaling. You're still out there, ah, oh, great God of heaven, waiting on whatever I don't know. Glory to God. But I am here to tell somebody today. Hallelujah. If you have been through your prime already and God has given you a chance to still be alive today, now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to turn it in. Now is the time to wrap it up. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. Because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Mighty God. And that's why I will raise my hand to the young ones. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. You know, I have a, I have a grandchild. And his grandmother is a, is a young woman, in probably, uh, probably in her 50s. And mighty redeemer Jesus. This lady was at her house. And she just started to feel her belly hurting. And she went to the doctor. And the doctor gave her some medication, sent her home. But she was still hurting. And she went back to the doctor and changed the medication and she come back still hurting. And I get to understand she just raise up off of the bed and take a deep breath and just fall back down and dead. Oh my, God. my son, grandmother. My grandson, grandmother, matter of fact. Mighty Redeemer, Jesus. And I'm telling the honest truth. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Because I'm saying, you know, when you hear it happen next door to somebody that you don't know, it's a little different. But when you hear it happen, touch this close to home, sometimes it really shake you. And I'm saying, my God and my father, I get to understand that you sell it to the market in, um, in, in that uh, Christiana. And I get to understand that on the day, I, I think Saturday are one of those days, because it just happened at, um, one day of the week here. And I get to understand that a lady, a Christian lady was passing her. And when the Christian lady got to her, she just started getting to the spirit right in front of her. And sometimes people will see you operate in those ways and say that you're crazy and this and that. But I believe what God was saying to our judgment. Hallelujah. Yeah. Judgment is on its way. Yeah, is Mighty way. Redeemer Jesus. Maybe if she had run home and said, you know something, it might have been something. And decide that she's going to give it in. Maybe it could have turned in a different direction. But sometimes we're stuck in our ways. Sometimes we're stuck in our ways because we grow accustomed to our ways and our behavior. And, and, and there's some that is waiting to say, uh, I could do it at this age or I could do it at that age. But I am here to tell somebody sometime what I, be, I understand or believe. It is that when you are being living a sinful life and you live that lifestyle for so long, sometimes you can become what I call a hard sinner. Sometimes you become a hardened sinner. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. And it becomes hard for you to make that step. 
mighty redeemer. So every day you say tomorrow. Yeah. And the next day you say tomorrow. The next year, say next week and next month and next year. Mighty God of Daniel. But it never come. But I am here to tell somebody today. Make your tomorrow be your today. Amen. Glory to the God. As I believe there's a scripture say, today is the day of salvation. Today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. Harden not your heart. So I thank God for those, as I say, I don't know who it is yet. But I thank God for those who decide that God, I am young. I don't know yet if I can truly keep this journey. But no, I, 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 I'm going to tell you something. Hallelujah. When I was to get baptized, I remember I was 40 at the time, as I said. 39, I think, I'm a And I remember I got a dream one night. And the dream said to me, if you don't baptize by no one December, you're going dead. That was in 09, 2009. And I remember them time they made a boy a road. I don't have a baptism thing. A girl's me a chase off a road. And remember, I said to myself, if I don't tell somebody the dream, it might not come to pass. Because <laughs> you always hear somebody say, when you hear somebody dead, they might say, you know what saying? They tell me, say, so I said to myself, say, me not tell nobody the gym. But when December come, me I fret down the whole place. When December come, me I fret, but me still not baptized. So I know what it is to be tough. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. December come, because guess what, I don't want to do it. Because me know, say, by January, if you go baptize December by January, me go and back and do it, me I do again. Mighty Redeemer. Because in my mind, I'm not ready to do it just because I get that dream there. Yes. Mighty Redeemer. But by the next year, December come and pass, I'm not dead. I'm gone back and do my thing. Yes. But guess what? <laughs> next October, we have a brother that many was like this. Mighty God of Daniel. And I was coming from Buffalo, driving chapter trailer coming from Buffalo. And I get the call, my brother shot. Don't buy Dye Avenue in the Bronx. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. That is the next October. So December come and pass. And he was in church. This Saturday in Mount Vernon. And when he was leaving, you know Bishop Mark. Bishop Mark was standing at the door and said, Junior, when you're going to baptize and give your life to God? And Junior said, I have a few things to take care of. And then I'll take care of that. That was the Saturday. By the Monday, Junior lay dead at Dye Avenue. Oh my God. One bullet. Take out Junior. Oh and I don't know if this was done for God to get my attention. Because let me tell you something. There's something about when you wrap up in a woman and wrap up in a this and wrap up in a woman eyes and there's something. There's something about that will hold you captive. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. And I did not want to let go of that. Mighty God. But when I see this, I said I have to take a step. So by the next year, we decided to get baptized because I said, God is not playing. So I am here to tell somebody in this season, God is not playing. Amen. God is not playing. Amen. Mighty Redeemer. Sometimes him come and knock on your heart door. Amen. Glory to God. And he said, open up. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. But because of the lifestyle that we are in, because of the place that we are in, because of what we are doing, we decide that we don't want to take that step. Mighty God of Daniel. But sometime, God is saying it's now or never. So I decide my mind that I, am, I, have, I have to make the step. But I am here to tell you. After I take the step, it wasn't perfect. But I remember, I said to a friend of mine, and I'm saying this to the young ones that are taking this step today. I remember I said to a friend of mine, because by this now I realize that God is speaking to me and said, take this step. And I remember I said to a friend of mine, I want to get baptized, you know. But I don't have nobody, I don't have no female in my life. What am I going to do? Because I don't have nobody. Though you have one million female to deal with. But you don't have none where you really make the band in there with where you can't say, take a step. Mighty God of Daniel. So, so, I said, what am I going to do now? Because you have so your oats all over the place, but you never... Never get one already. Search already. 
mighty God of Daniel. So I said, what am I going to do now? And you know what the professor said to me? Take the step. If you don't take the step, you never know if you can make it. So I am here to tell anyone today. in here today, Amen. take the step. Amen. I'm telling those who decide to take the step, it's a good move. Amen. Don't worry about it. There might be times when you feel like back out, but the fact that you take the step, God will hold you. Amen. Because the Lord knows those who are his. Yes. Glory to God and he will not let them go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I am telling somebody that did not join that number. I, 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 I did not decide that they want to be in that number. Amen. Glory to God. Take the step. Point your ship towards our great God of heaven. Step towards the number. Hallelujah. Because they are here to tell you. If you don't make it into that number. It will be weeping and moaning and gnashing of teeth. And they are here to tell somebody today. Mighty God of Daniel. I remember one time I was going through an experience. My God, God, take me through a little valley. And Lord God Almighty. He take me into a place. And he open up some things and show me. I, I, I will say this. One time I find myself floating off out into utter darkness. Let me tell I found myself like just floating off. Mighty God of Daniel. And I said, Lord God Almighty. But let me tell you something. Sometimes God will give you some experience for you to go out and tell another. Because not everybody going to have your experience. But your experience is to tell somebody so they can understand in the name of Jesus. My God, it was a fearful moment. My God. But after a while, God pulled me back. And he said, this was re the reason why I had you to experience these things. Mighty God of Daniel. And after that, he laid the anointing on. So I am here to tell somebody today. Amen. Some of you that is starting that step today. You're already a handpick Amen. for something rich. Yes. You're already a handpick yes. for something strong. Yes. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. You are already handpicked. Yes. Mighty God of Daniel. To carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, Mighty God. Yeah. Because there's some of the older ones that are dealing that in. But the Lord are pulling some out in this season. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I have a package waiting for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I am here to tell you. It don't always be easy. Yeah. Because there's a price for it. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. But I am going to tell you. Rest assured because he who begin a good work in you yes, will see it until it is completed yes. in the name of Jesus. When I was in my valley, I believe God didn't like me anymore. When I was in my valley, I think that God done with me. When I was in my valley, I, I start think of every wickedness I've ever done in my lifetime and start think that it was that that God was punishing me for. And the devil was right behind me telling me, see, I see him, so I go, oh, great God of heaven. But I am here to tell somebody today, there's sometime that God will take you out, mighty God, from your comfort zone and bring you into a season, great God of heaven. But I am here to tell you when that season is over. When the season is over, Yay. mighty God, and there's a scripture that say, "The Lord that have called you to visit after you have suffered, He will strengthen you and and give you an expected end." Amen. Glory to God. So I'm here to tell somebody when when you take a step and you find yourself going to your season, continue to march. It doesn't mean that God don't like you anymore. It doesn't mean that you have done anything that God is holding against you. It doesn't mean that. Hallelujah. And the minute you start believing it is so. The enemy is right behind you. Tell you, say, yeah, man, I see him so it go. Him, the right, if you tell us, I see him so it go. But don't believe it. And I am telling you from one who did believe it. Amen. Glory to God. And realize, I didn't believe that I would ever carry the anointing of God again. I did not believe that I would ever oh preach again. I don't believe that I was qualified. I, 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 oh, great God. To ever be in the house of God again. Oh God. Hallelujah. Jesus. But it was just God taking me to a season. Yes. And the season was not too long, you know. But it seemed like it was forever. 
And I thank God it was a land. Because the level that he take me through, if it lasts a three month, it lasts for. If it take me for longer than that, I don't know how I manage. But God knows what we can stand. He knows. Glory to God. So I'm here to tell somebody today that which you're going through now, it is not to destroy you, but it's to build you. And one of the things that I am here to tell you, don't cry when you're in that season. Don't cry. If you can find it to worship in your season, you'll come out quicker. And if you, are, if you learn to steer the course, because that's what was told to me, steer the course. Yeah. If you learn to how to steer the course, you will get out quicker. But I promise you today, when you come out, you will find yourself experiencing things that you never know you could experience. Amen. You will find yourself seeing things that you never know you could see. Wow. You will find yourself, mighty God of Daniel, our oh, great God of heaven, running through troops and leaping over wall. As David said, blessed be God that teaches my hand to fight. So if before you go into that season, you go in there as a weakling, I promise you that when you come out, oh great God of heaven, you will not be a weakling anymore in the name of Jesus. So I am here to tell somebody, stay the course. Hallelujah. 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 Stay the course. Amen. There's something that come and it look like it come to destroy us. And let me tell you something. I can speak now. And when I speak, I can speak with the authority. Amen. Because as there's a song that says, it's a rarely song, but it said, I have the scar to show. Yes. <laughs> I have the scar to show. That's Glory amazing. to God. Amen. So when I come and speak, I'm not speaking with somebody else's experience. Oh, your experience. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. I'm not speaking of somebody else's experience. I'm speaking of my own experience. I have the scar to show. Amen. Hallelujah. As Paul said, how many times he's been shipwrecked? How many times he's been beaten? How many times he's been through this? How many times he's been through that? Amen. Well, I'm here to tell you the Lord is calling some Paul and Paul today. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord is calling some Paul and some Paul in this season. Amen. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We are now living in the end time season. Amen. And the yesterday type of connection that I'm going to work for today. Because there's been a season now that it seems like there's some sleeping going on in the church. Amen. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. Some woman in Zion fall asleep. Some man in Zion fall asleep. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. And the ship, mighty God, even the captain of the ship fall asleep. And the ship seems like it's heading on to a wreck in the name of Jesus. But God is calling some young Jeremiah in this season. God is calling, oh great God of heaven, some Samuel in this season. God is calling some in this season and say, come take control of the ship. Because if you don't take care, oh great God of heaven. Because there's some that fall asleep. Mighty Redeemer. And if you look around, you see some very young one these days. Mighty God of Daniel, when they speak, you wonder. They let some of the older one be ashamed. Mighty Redeemer Jesus, because somewhere along the line, some of the older one them take a wrong turn. Mighty God of Daniel, and the ship is about to crash, but the ship of God will never crash, and that's why He's calling some young one in Waterbury today and say, "Come take the helm of the ship." Hallelujah. Come and take the ship. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. So don't think it's strange. Hallelujah. When some little one. Hallelujah. Say I want to go down in water. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. God put something in their heart. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And say come. Yes. I will groom you like Samuel. Yes. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I will groom you for the journey. Yes. I want you young. So I can mold you yes. and make you yes. into what you are to be. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. There gonna be some bumps and bruises along the way. Amen. There gonna be some of your friends that now gonna be your friend no more. 
You're gonna have to stand up before some of your friends and tell them the truth. Some of them we are walking away. Some of them we are. Amen. Hallelujah. You're not gonna be popular. But the Lord is saying, Come. Because He who begin a good work, He will complete it. So fret not thyself. Because of the demon, the dose. Mighty God. This is a rough season for the young Christians that are in school in this season. Mighty God of Daniel. They want to tell you the dog a cat and puss a rat. Oh great God of heaven. But I am here to tell somebody today. Oh, great. Stand up. And the word of God. No let nobody tell us no dog a cat. And tell us no puss a rat. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. Whatever in your soul. Mighty God of them. If them say left and they say right or right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I trust me and believe this. Yes. God will keep you. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel. He keep Daniel into the lion den. Yes. He keep Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego burn of the fire. Yes. Then let me ask you something. Your thing said it is too hard for God to keep you. Yes. Mighty God of Daniel. Yes. So I am here to tell you. Take up the button. Yes. Mighty God. Because the older one is on their way out. Amen. Some fall asleep. Amen. Some did it all in. Yeah. Mighty God of Daniel. Some of them don't know up and down no more. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel. Because they've been playing church for too long. Amen. Glory to God. But they are all oh, great God. The young ones are coming up. Yes, and God is putting something in them. Yes. That he put in Samuel. God is putting something in them that he put in Jeremiah. God is putting something in them that he put in Daniel. And he's sending them out. Mighty God of Daniel in this season. So I'm here to tell you. You have to take a good step. And let nothing deter you from that in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, because trust and believe that he who begin a good work. I am here to tell somebody if I can stand in church. Believe me, anybody can. Amen. I never see myself coming in front of people and preaching and all of this stuff. Mighty God of Daniel. I'm not going to wrestle with that. Like how Daniel wrestled with the angel. Amen. Not Daniel. Okay. I, I, I mean Joseph, Jacob. Wrestle with the angel. Because I did not want to be in this position. But let me tell you something. God have handpicked some of us in this season. Amen. You won't know it right now. But when you start going to your bed and start to certain type of dreams. When you find yourself going on the road and just crying for no reason at all. When you find yourself wake up into the middle of the night. And, and, and find yourself speaking in tongues and doing. Then you will understand that God is doing something. Mighty Redeemer. Some around you won't understand it. Some of you will question it. Some of you won't even believe it. But I am here to tell you. God is doing something different. In this season, mighty God, because this is the end time season, mighty God of Daniel. And there's a message to be preached. There's an end time message to preach. Because the harvest is ripe. But the laborers, and the one them that are not few are falling asleep. The one them when a few, them start putting on all kind of fandangles now. I have never seen so much fandangles by minister in a church. Tell you that this lady is. I don't know if they use that to show themselves to be mighty. But I am here to tell you, you don't have to show yourself to be mighty. Because it is the power that is in you that makes you be mighty. Amen. Hallelujah. So some of them, mighty God of Daniel, start adorn themselves in a hard kind of something. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. And they have one bag of them behind them with the same kind of adorning. Mighty God of Daniel. And let me tell you something. Them not cannot power. Them not cannot power. Because let me tell you something. When you carry the power of God, you have to adorn yourself in all of them or something. How much of Oh, great God of heaven. David, thank you, Father. David was a town with the power of God. And that's why when Saul tried to put on his arm upon him, David said, hey, hey, hey. Me need for me free. Yeah. Mighty God of Daniel. Me don't need this for me. Mighty God of Daniel. So when you see them start a turn and a turn and a turn, sometimes I try them and try to show like them powerful. 
But let me tell you something. When you're powerful, you don't need that. So when God decides to lay his anointing upon you, mighty God, only be humble in this season. Amen. Just move lowly in this season. Amen. And the God of all grace will exalt you in your season. You don't need no man to give you one tiger this month and one next month and one the month after that. You don't need nobody to do that. Mighty God of Daniel, them call me evangelist in my church. And let me tell you something, if it was up to me, it would not be done in the name of Jesus. Because let me tell you something, I tell them that I am okay preaching the gospel. I did not want to do it in the first place, but because I don't have no choice, I don't mind doing it. Because I have to. But me don't want nobody to come give me one title this month. How one the month after that? How one three months after that? Glory to God. Anyway, let me move on with the message. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm going to wrap up right now. In the name of Jesus. So I just want to, you know something? Sometimes we might have a direction that we want to go with our message. Or the message that God gives to us. Because God is him. Give it to us. Sometimes we want to take it our direction. But as I realize, God wants to say a few words. And I believe he just said it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise and we give you worship. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I'm going to jump down to 7.13. Glory to God. And one of the elder answered saying unto me, Zee, okay, who, what are these which are arrayed in white robe? And whence comes he? And I say unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are these are they which came out of great tribulation. Hallelujah. So as I was saying to you just now, it's not gonna be easy. But what we ask in the Lord to help us to be a part of the these are they. You get what I'm saying? Amen. We're asking the Lord to help us to be a part of the these are they. Glory to God. That come out of great tribulation. Amen. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. And let me tell you something. What is it that the men and women of old had that we don't have? They were flesh and blood Amen. like us. Amen. So if they were able to uh, withstand it, if they were able to go through it, so can we. then so can we. And then when it's over and done, then when you join that number, Amen. you will hear, these are they yes. that came out of great tribulation. Yes. These are they that their friends start ridiculing them in school. Yes. These are they that tell us that you're not cool no more. Amen. These are they that go through all kinds of situations. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel, but have washed them, oh great God, in the blood of the Lamb. So I'm telling somebody today, strive to be a part of the these are they. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mighty God. And I washed their robe in the blood of the, of the Lamb. And made them white with the blood. Oh, glory to God. Of the Lamb. Yeah. Therefore, they before the throne of God. And serve him day and night. Yes. Hallelujah. What an awesome thing. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Serve him day and night. In his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. Mighty God. Hallelujah. I tell myself, you know, I want to be in that number. Amen. Because I want to meet the like of a, 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 a Moses. Mighty redeemer. Yes, Jesus Christ, God, is first and foremost. But I would like, mighty God of Daniel, to meet these great men. Mighty God, that have been through it. Yeah. And stand. Mighty God of Daniel. I, I, and I hope I will still try to hear it to ask him, how you got over? Yeah. Mighty God of Daniel. Because my soul looked back and wondered how I got over. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. How we got over? Amen. Mighty God of Daniel. Let me tell you something. What it takes for you to get over is a made up mind. Don't worry about the in-between part. Amen. Start it with a made-up mind. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel. Amen. And then you will be able to say how you get over. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. And they shall hunger no more. Neither thirst anymore. Neither shall the sun light upon them anymore. Mighty God. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel. Today sometimes we can't even find bread. But at that time we shall be fed. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah Jesus. And shall lead them unto living fountain of water. Mighty God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think this is the, I think this is the shorting part. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. I don't know about you. But I've been through some situation where I cry a few tears. Amen. Mighty God of the a matter of fact. I've been through situations where I cry so much tears that, that where there was no tears left. left. Oh, my God. Amen. Cry so much tears till there was none left. Amen. I don't know if somebody ever been there. Amen. Where there's no tears left. Amen. Mighty God of that you become numb. Mighty God. But the scripture said. God shall wipe away all tears. all tears from their eyes. So every cry will you cry now. Mighty God of God here. God of a wife. And, and I am here to tell you there's some that has been wiped away even in the season while you're still alive. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel. Because there's some that after you go through your season, God have given you that peace that pass all understanding. And after you have received that peace, there's no crying. No so it's simple mean that even in this life. God, wipe away the tears from your eye. Mighty God of Daniel. Glory to God. So when the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to in that number. Oh, when the saints go Can someone learn 
saw them coming. John saw them coming. John saw them coming. Is there anyone else that have not lined up themselves to be the number that in this house today? That want to join the number? Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is there any mighty God? These three brave souls. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. Jesus. At this time to make this step. Mighty God of Daniel. Is there anyone else that want to join the number? Glory to God. Young one, you want to join the number? Glory to God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Glory to God. 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 You want to sit there? Sit there also. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel. Truly God is good to Israel. Mighty redeemer Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we're going to invite the parents to stand in support. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to invite the parents. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is awesome. Hallelujah. This is awesome. Yes. Mighty yes. God of God. Yes. John saw them coming. What a mighty John saw them coming in just two seconds. Yes. God saw them coming. Go in one.
my God and my Lord. Father, we worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We lift you up and we give you praise. Mighty Redeemer, Jesus, to our God and God alone. From the rising of the sun to the long setting of the same. There's none greater than you. There's none mightier than you. There's none beside you, great God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, great God, we come before you with the acknowledgement and the understanding of who you are, that you are God and God alone. From the rising on an answer. Thank you, great God of heaven, for the work that you are doing in this season. Amen. Hallelujah, great God. Mighty God, I say, young man, I call upon you because you are strong. In the name of Jesus and my God, there are a few before us today, my God, Amen. that decide to take this step. Glory, hallelujah, mighty God. We know not what you are doing in this season, but we don't have to. But we know you are doing something good. Yes, in the name of Jesus. You are. Jesus. Mighty God, here is a location that you are established, great God of heaven. And you know that you need soldier for the army, great God. Yes. Mighty God, the soldier that are already standing at the post, mighty God, are mm. growing weary. But great God of heaven, today, mighty God, you are choosing some Daniel. Oh, yes. Today, mighty God of Daniel, mm. you are choosing some Samuel. Today, yes. mighty God of Daniel, you are choosing some Esther. Yes. Glory, hallelujah to your Be name, mighty God. God of Daniel. Today, great God of heaven, you have made a selection yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. And my God, we lay them before you. Yes. There's nothing that we can do. But all we can do is speak the word over them, great God of heaven. Because what is already done is already done in the heavenly. What is already done is already done in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, mighty God. You know the journey, mighty God, that is above before them. You know the part that they shot, mighty God. But great God of heaven, you are so sad. Oh, mighty God to Jeremiah. From before you was conceived in your mother's womb. I know you're not calling to be a prophet unto the nation in the name of Jesus. And I know that in the season, my God and my Father, you're calling some prophet and prophetess. In the season, in the name of Jesus. So mighty God, I pray that you have your way in the life of these young one, great God of heaven. I pray that you continue to cover them. From the crown of their head unto the sole of their feet. Yes. I pray that you continue to shut their feet with the preparation of the gospel Hallelujah. of peace. I pray that, that you take them into the direction that they are Hallelujah. to go. Yes. Mighty God of Daniel, I pray that you will block their hearing. Mighty God of Daniel, from every whispering of the enemy. Yes. I pray, great God of heaven, that you will block their hearing. Mighty God of Daniel, Hallelujah. from every whispering from their friends. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I pray, great God of heaven. Hallelujah. That you will intune them yes. to only that which you want them to hear. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray, mighty God of Daniel, that you will honor their steps. Yes. In the mighty name of Lord. Jesus, that you will lead them. Amen. Mighty God of Daniel, as I say, forward still is Jehovah's will. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, oh, yes. oh, great God, and they run into obstacle, mighty God. May they hear it in their ears, forward still. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God. Amen. It is not easy for young men in this season. Yes, it's not easy. But it is even more so not easy for young ladies. So. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So mighty God of Daniel. Oh, yes. I pray that you wrap her into a cocoon. Amen. Into a spiritual. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Wrap her into mind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Holy One of Israel, mighty God of Daniel, rapper, yes, in the name of Jesus. My God, she's growing up, yes, and the whispering will come. But I block every whispering now in the name of Jesus. I block it. In the name of Jesus. I render it null and void. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God, let it just go over our head. Let you not even take five seconds to think about it. In the name of Jesus. But we just bounce off. Like water on a duck back. In the name of Jesus. All of her little steps, Lord. Keep her in the hollow palm of your hand. Amen. Young lady, your journey is not going to be easy. Young can do the man. Young can do the man. Young can do the man. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. In your hands, Lord. In your hands. Mighty God. And in the name of Jesus. Only you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And pick. In the name of Jesus. And pick. My God. Hallelujah. Yeah, Amen. God. Amen. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. Jesus. Yeah. I'm not nice. You're gonna see. Hallelujah. There you are. My God.
In the name of Jesus, the like the fire Jesus. of the Holy Ghost burn oh, up on you. Yes. May the fire of the Holy Spirit burn up on you. Father, in the name of Jesus, though our God and God alone, yes, Lord. mighty God, Jesus. Father God, as I raise this matter, I sin in the cotolo, see a kendatu, lead I sin in the cotolo, condi, Mapu nana sandiki, the totolo, see and do, Macundu so tu, licking da, see a kendo. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. Trouble it like the water. The oh, yes. Yes. Let healing. Yes. Let it, Sarah, keep. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let deliverance. Full deliverance. Mighty God. Jesus. Let strength. Yes. Mighty God of Daniel. We're in the city. La Kundu, Sukaya, Kandase. Lu Kundu, Sayekin. Mandu, Tuluka, I sin in the control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Move my hand, Lord. Oh, yes. Man to kutu, laika, nasi. Place yours in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God, oh, yes. let the fire of the Holy Spirit move up on this, Father. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. My God and my Father. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, yes. God, as I'm about to lay my hand on your woman's servant. My God, my God, my God. 
My God, Ananda Satalaki, Ekayana, Silendo, Tolo, Liakendo, Lidai Sinundo, Totoluku, Ikanda Kunda Sieke, Manda Kotolongu, no Sotolongi and Da, Likenda Siki, Papa, Ingundo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Give me a Strength for the journey. Mara is sin the neko to. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Hallelujah, Jesus. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey, my daughter. Strength for the journey. Glory to God. Strength for the journey. To your name, most high God. Show that feet with the preparation. And that I see the nurse, he could papa in the candas, a lucky attend. Man to to look, and I see the end of all. Lidanda Catalic in the sin end of all of all. Sia Panda Kundu in the day. Inanda Kanda is in end of all. Rikanda is in end. Lavanda Puti. My God, you know, we got to go to Sunday. Yes. My God. My God. Mm. Yes. Mighty God. Yes. God love you. Yes. Mighty God. Mm. That one your hand pick, man. Yes. Lord, that one your hand pick, brother. Lord, God. That one your hand pick. Yes. My God, my Father. Hey, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That one you're not normal, man. Glory to your name, Jesus. Yes. Yes, man. I'm willing to work. I need the anointing. Oh, yes. My God, my God. I need the anointing. I need the anointing. I need the anointing. I need the anointing. For the things I make.
God. Glory to the Most High God. We honor Him. We lift Him up. We magnify Him. We praise Him for His awesomeness. Mighty God. His ways is not our ways. And it is past finding out. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Master God. Glory to your name, mighty Redeemer, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Jesus. 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 Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Mighty God. We give you thanks, we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Father, we seal them yes, and sign them. Oh, yes. Father, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Speak your word, Lord. Yes. Speak your word, Lord. My heart long to hear. Speak your word, Lord. My heart takes the Lord. Your word, mighty, I'll be what you have me to be. Speak your word, Lord, and your servant will go. Speak your word, Lord, my heart. Yes, Lord. Jesus. My God. Speak your word, Lord. My heart is to know. Speak your word, Lord. I'll be what you have me.
give you worship. We give you honor, we give you glory. We lift you up in the beauty of holiness. There's no God like you. You're great in all your ways. Mighty God, you speak and it was done. You declare it, you command it, mighty God, it was so. And to the mighty God of Daniel, you speak it over your servant. My God, we seal him for the work. We seal him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory. Mighty. Mighty God. Hallelujah.
Lord God, yes, you shall be coming back to receive us unto yourself. I'm here, God, I lay my hand. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, God, you know all about this time, God. You know, you know, I lay my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I look forward, God, for a sweet anointing, for a sweet strengthening, a sweet deliverance. You know all about this child, God. Yes, thanks, God, for having brought him through into this world. And for him, Jesus died. I pray at this time, God, that you move in a very special way. I thank you for his parents. I pray, God, that you anoint them at this moment, wherever they are. Lord, that you experience that sweet love and your mighty hand upon them. I pray, God, that you move in a special way as I lay my hands upon this, your son. Oh, I beg you for a new anointing, a sweet anointing, a powerful anointing. I pray for a divine healing and for a divine victory in the name of Jesus Christ, God. If you should come down, Lord, oh, yes, you don't want to leave me behind. I pray that you call it like you call Samuel. Take full control, Lord. I pray that you fix him. Change his heart. Thank you for the, the, the promise of a new heart. God, as young as he is, fix you for your kingdom. Allow him to be different, Lord. Allow him, God, to be an example to others in the name of Jesus Christ. Move in a special way. Anoint him in the name of Jesus. Anoint him, I pray, oh God. And fix him, Lord, for your kingdom. Bless his spirit. Hallelujah. Bless him in a special way. Allow him, Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, we are going to have this time of experience. Yes. Yes. Anointing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who are the seeing? Bless these children. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah to your God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And allow Lord and as of today, they'll experience a newness, a difference, and full deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We wait upon you and we tell you thanks. My choice. Would you like us to pray with you? You don't have to. No English. Oh, no English translate for me. Oh. Glory to Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Put some other guy in Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory 
Tiffany and Hannah. Go to this one. Go to Tiffany and Jesus. Go to Tiffany and Hannah. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other hand that I know. And if you should trouble then where shall I go? Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help that we know. If you should draw through many danger Thailand snare, I have already come. Through many danger Thailand snare, I have already come. Even if you don't know it, it is His grace that that brought you safe thus far. Amazing grace shall always be. My soul Cause it was grace That brought my hand. It's not by an accident why you're here today I never knew Just why Christ came You have already come. I don't know if it's been here or been there. But through many dangerous islands, 
mighty God of Daniel. We trust and believe that it is the grace of God. Even, I don't know if this is a Christian. He went to Catholic Church. Well, it is his grace that brought you safe this far. And I want to let you know you're at a good place. If it is possible, make more people. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. He loves you. <laughs> Break every chain. In the name of Jesus. Break I and be loosed. In the name of Jesus. Let's say that by Jesus. Loose him, Lord. Loose him, Jesus. We break every chain. Everything that keeps you from moving. Everything that keeps you stagnant. We break it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We burn to zero. Yes, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Might! Glory to your name, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Can I touch you? There is power. I've seen many ministers on TV do some stuff that you question and you wonder if they're even real. But I am here to tell you today this is real. Yeah, you probably see some stuff on TV that you question and wonder if it's real. But this is real. This is the doing of the Lord. We're not here asking for seeds. We're not here taking a sewer seed and get, and, and, and get this and that. That is not our purpose. We come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The only name by which man can be saved is by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have no expectation but your soul. No expectation for this one. Hallelujah. So rest at ease. We're not going to tell you to sow a seed when everything is over. Not here. Glory to God. But we come to tell you today that God loves you. Hallelujah. And He wants to do something in your life. I love you. If you never hear it before, I'm telling you today. There might be some confusion going on in that mind of yours. There might be some confusion going on in that mind of yours. But we want to clear them up by the Spirit of Almighty God. By the Spirit and power of the Most High God. I'm going to ask you to visit it. I don't know how often you visit it. Yes. What I'm going to ask you to visit is not by chance that you're going here today. Are you a Christian? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. But you bring your brother here for a reason today. Amen. And I'm going to ask you to keep coming back to this location. Amen. God want to do something. Something is the thing. Amen. Don't worry about it. I know, I know, I know you're wondering what's going on right now. Don't worry about it. I know, I know you're, I know you're questioning what is happening right now. What about your questions? I know you're questioning what's going on right now. But don't no question it. Don't no question it. It is the power of the Holy Spirit that comes to break chains, chains of the mind, chains of the body. Generation. 
generational chains. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, most like God. Glory to your name, most like God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your son. We thank you for your son. We thank you for the work that has started in his life. We thank you for the seed that is planted even right now. We thank you, mighty God, that it started germinating. And we thank you, mighty God, that it will bear fruit. In the name of Jesus. Because the Lord will come to Waterbury. The Lord will come to Waterbury. The Lord will leave 99. And he will go for one. So the Lord come to Waterbury for you today. Glory to God. Glory to God. You will, you, you, you will understand it further on. You will understand it further on. Keep coming with your sister. And you will receive that which you need to receive. I don't know if you're searching for it. But it's searching for you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know if you're searching for it. But I know it's searching for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is your day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we leave you in the hand of the Most High God. And we pray His covering and His protection upon you. And we pray that He will strengthen you. And pray that He will give you peace of mind. Everything that disturbs your mind. Everything that causes confusion of the mind. Everything, mighty God of Daniel, that your worries about. Everything that troubles you. Everything, great God of heaven, that bothers you. Everything. He's coming through for you. Just lay it down before him. And he will settle it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you praise for your son. We give you honor. Why? He kala he kai kundu to to ye kandas. Mundu ndu sudu kuya he kai akando to to you kundi. Manda katala kandai si nenda koto lo kandai si. Luku saya kanda ku ya kanda mama sa kie kendo. Li kandas si nenda koto li kandai si. Maku you kundasa lila kandu to to lu kundi. Come just say bless of God. Mike na sala kundu ludu sula kindanda katalaki maku andaka sayaku ikandai kinenda ku inganda katala kandai si. Rakundu sulu kia kandi ladanda kandai si nendo ko. Lu kundu si. Manda ka yikendo inganda kutu yaka iko enda sayaku. Hallelujah. We give him praise, we give him worship. We want to pray for the parents of the children. Yes, yes. We give him praise. I'm sorry if some of them I don't move at the speed of others, but mighty God of Daniel. Munda I see ne koto labanda kute yendo. Ay, 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 go to lo, si ala, kina nda isi nendo, matu ya kandas. Hallelujah. Lari isi na ya, kanda ya kuta ya nda, ay, anana asi nendo, koto lo, konda isi. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name. In the Baba Yaku, Baba Banda Katanda is in Endokoto, Losianda, Lada is in Endokoto, Libanda Ku, Tayanda, Eken Dada Sayaku. Glory to your name, Lord. We give you praise and we give you worship. Just continue to walk with him. I'll continue to seek after him. In the name of Jesus. You can explain to him. Okay. And thank you for bringing him today. Glory to God. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, they see no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danda, he 
mama isieko lidanda tina ndo totolo dala saki labai kandai kinendo inda kutu yata yatandi ende tetelende okoto do kondi glory to god maiku mama isinende endoso labaka ta yekondo Mama ndi sinende labai sineko labanda ki endo labai kinende Glory to God Glory to God Kobala Shende sete labai ndai si ke endo indai tayatu Libai sinendo to loka yati. Koba la. Koba. Blanket cover in the name they said. Blanket cover in the name. In the name of Jesus. Mama isini kayuku laba indo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah la. Koba la. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Father, as we lay this little one before you, now you know that the parents, my God, because they're still young. So there's a charge. Then they saw you, God, I, my, and I see all I go. I, then they saw you, can do. My God and my Father. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Cover the parents, Lord. Cover them under your blood. Cover the parents. And help them to guide them in the right direction. May they be the right support. Yes, Lord. And treat them as sisters yes. and brothers yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Sisters and brothers, yes, they still respect that you. Still respect that you. But they are now sisters and brothers in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Guidance and protection in the name of Jesus. And we tell you thanks for the finished work. We tell you thanks for the covering. We tell you thanks for the protection. In the name of Jesus, my God, we pray for every minister in this house. We pray for every upcoming minister in this house. We pray, mighty God of Daniel, for him this location. We pray, great God of heaven, that many souls will be born in this location. We pray, great God of heaven, that this location will be established in you. In righteousness, in holiness, in the name of Jesus. We pray, mighty God, that whatever is done in this location, that it will be by you, for you, of you, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God of Daniel, in the mighty, precious and exalted name of Jesus. And we tell you thanks. Huh? Keep Somebody them safe, my God. Jesus. God. Glory to God. Mighty God, remember, every Glory tongue that lash against them, Jesus. In I Jesus pray mighty name. and I pray peace. In Jesus' in mighty name. Jesus Hallelujah. In Jesus' Glory mighty name. One person is asked for a night to hear others who would like us to do this. Stay right here. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, give them power, mighty God, to tread up over every situation that will come up against their marriage in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, because if they can't stand, my God, they cannot carry this truth. Father, I pray thee, my God, that you lift them like a chain, my God, cannot be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Give them loose, my Jesus, mighty 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 Jesus
Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. 